I'll start this review by stating one fact. When it comes to Giordano's former red or body clone range, I'm extremely biased. Of all the gear I own, Capo, Asos, LG, Pearl, you name it, none fit me better and feel better on my body than the former red line. So my former kits are always at the front of the drawer and they get used more than any other kit in my collection. I've owned every generation of Giordano's body clone line, Forma, Former Red, and now Former Red Carbon, and I've even got a few of the new custom team kits, but the latest issue, Body Clone FRC, is, without question, one of the finest jersey and bib combos I've ever owned. Yeah, yeah, I know you're not supposed to use superlatives in product reviews, but I simply can't resist. It's just that good. Why is it so great? Well, for me, it's the combination of the just right level of compression in the bibs combined with a feather light jersey that's tailored to mold to your body so it feels like it isn't even there. Previous generations of the Forma jersey and even the two custom kits are a tad too short in the sleeves and at the waist and they tend to ride up a bit in both places, not the new one. The sleeves extend almost to the end of my biceps and the tail is also a touch longer. When you couple this new cut with the woven in latex on the velvety comfy grippers, the result is sublime and that same lengthening is carried over to the cuffs of the bib shorts as well, which is brilliant. The barely there Forma jerseys disappearing act is the result of four of Giordana's top shelf fabrics, Asteria 2.0, Post Carbon, Kite Mesh, and Aerolite. But the rock star of the group is definitely Asteria. It's used on the front, sides, shoulders, sleeves, collar, pockets, and rear center panel. Asteria has a light, springy, almost rubbery hand, and it has this feel for two reasons. First, it's used on the areas of your upper body that will move the most, so the maximum range of motion is important. And second, it's the aerodynamically slipperiest fabric in the Giordano line, so placing it on the most exposed edges of your upper body helps reduce aerodynamic drag. Now, while Asteria's the rock star, a good front man, if you will, needs amazing supporting players, and Giordano uses their host carbon, kite mesh, and aerolite to quite literally provide that support. Host Carbon is used on the rear flank panels and its two-way directional stretch keeps the pockets from sagging, while Aerolite is used at the cuffs and waist to prevent the jersey from riding up, and Kite Mesh is placed under the arms and inside the collar for maximum ventilation and a touch of added comfort against areas that can be a bit sensitive. On the other hand, one thing about the Forma lineup that's never needed improving was the bibs. Every pair I've owned has been the go-to for any Century or Grand Fondo I've ridden. Why? Because they were about two years ahead of everybody else with compression and laser cut uppers. And like the jersey, the bibs always vanished when I put them on. They did their job and I didn't have to think about either one being there. And the latest revision of the former red carbon bibs is no exception. You get a nice long inseam that cradles your hamstrings with just right compression. There's Giordana's top of the line Ciro OF chamois, which is infused with aloe for extra softness. Zafiro fabric is used at the seat to prevent snagging, pulling, and wear over time. Amatista fabric is employed around your midsection to shield you from energy zapping electrical interference. The insanely comfortable cuffs are made with Aerolite, which uses silicon threads Get that, silicon threads rather than pressed on beads or buttons to keep the legs in place. And the uppers are composed of the waffled out micro quad fabric, which is a polyester microfiber with a zillion perforations and a super soft touch for the ultimate in comfort. The straps are also nice and, and wide, which helps keep everything in place without digging into your shoulders like an overloaded Hello Kitty backpack. It's tough to find flaws with the kit, that's for sure. The only drawback I can see is that the jersey is designed for summer weather only. If the mercury drops much below, I don't know, 60 or so, you'll be chilly without the right base layer. And the gossamer thin fabric is basically transparent. You can see the bib straps pretty blatantly. And true, some would say the price is a bit high, but if you're shopping Giordana Forma against top-notch offerings from competitive brands, 
you come out anywhere from 100 to 200 less and you get a lot more for your money. And as an added bonus, they also make matching socks with a foot and ankle massaging level of compression. So for me, the latest Jordana FRC kit is an over the fence, bases loaded Grand Slam. If you're thinking about adding a Giordana former a carbon jersey or bib to your wardrobe and have any lingering questions, please send my friends at Giordana an email at info at and they'll get you connected with a Giordana retailer in your neighborhood.